Hi, uh, my name is Christine and I'm here with my husband Glenn and we were both um, there, present in person when the acquittal for Jill Stanley came out at the North Battleford, uh, I guess at the Battleford Courthouse and um, we just wanted to make this testimonial about what we saw and experienced. Go ahead. We were in, uh, we weren't in the courtroom. We were in a place that had video screens that showed the court. And I was sitting there when they read out the verdict and I watched the screen and I heard Debbie Baptiste scream like her soul was being ripped in half. And I heard it through the video and I heard it from down the stairs from the upstairs courtroom. And it wasn't just her. You could feel it throughout the entire place. One lady told my wife, a native lady said, it was like that was the moment they knew they weren't human to us. And that was when I, I knew it too. It's not just that this kid was killed by some racist farmer. Maybe Gerald Stanley's just some gun crazy lunatic and if, he, if those kids were white, maybe one of them would have got shot anyway. I don't know. But what's happened since, the way that family got treated, the way the RCMP did the investigation and how they let the man off for blowing somebody's brains out. It's going to change things. We weren't planning on being at the courthouse. We haven't been there all week and just like on the spur of the moment, we just got in our car and drove down because I was going to show support to the family. And it turns out that the verdict came out while we were driving there from our farm. And I know that when that verdict came down, it's like the building got hit with lightning. It's like the building shook. If you've seen the video that's circulating around the internet of the jurors running, they're running because they can feel what we feel. Whatever happened when that verdict came down, it wasn't just legal. It was something extremely powerful. And I'm not a religious person particularly, and I don't know anything about First Nations religion or culture, but I'll tell you right now, there was something intensely powerful and spiritual that happened at that moment. Strangers were crying and hugging each other. I think that the feeling in there and the sound in there I will go to my grave with that written on my soul. I know that. And for those of us who live locally, there's going to be before the moment that that verdict happened and after the moment that that verdict happened. Something has changed. Something profound. I can feel it. I'm, I, I don't know what it is, but I'm a human being and I can feel it. I, I know what it was that I felt. It's not a coincidence that that happened in the town of Battleford where those men were hung in 1886. This is full circle. And I know we talk, we've talked a lot about the legal aspects of this case and the systemic racism in this case, but the moment that that verdict came down, it was a spiritual thing. It, it was a force. I don't know if you felt it too. It was terrible. Yeah, it was strong. And we've talked to other people who were there, who were witnesses like us, and they feel the same thing. They felt it all, like we did. And I guess I just wanted to somehow be able to express that. We tried writing it down, it wouldn't come out in writing. So to everyone watching this message, the solution to this isn't just going to be legal. It's not just going to be social. There's something spiritually profound that's going on right now. I believe that, even though I'm not a religious person. 
and I guess I, I just want to give everyone the 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 feeling that it's it's not just what we're seeing in online comments it's real like beyond the scope of everyday life real and we didn't know why we were supposed to be there but I think it was just to be witness to it.